just been sitting in my chair? The only person I know taller than me is Kelly because I adjust her legs to be that way. Hey, why were you sitting in my chair, Kelly? Were you posting something? Did Kelly post something on my channel? What's with this little house on the prairie hairstyle I got going? <laughs> Fix this. I don't own cows. And I've never churned butter in my life. Here we go. We're doing an opening. Oh, it's good to be back. It's so good to be back. I'm back. In case this is your first video, then we're just both here and that's what's happening. So what had happened was I had a lot of pain in my teeth. It's gonna say peeth in my tain. That's not what I had. I had tooth pain all up in here, up in, up in here, up in here. I didn't sleep the whole night, hurt real bad. Owie, pain, please stop. So I go to the dentist and he's like, I have no idea why your upper teeth are hurting. Does this hurt? And then he shoved his fist into my mouth uh, tapping the molar, uh, um, the wisdom tooth back here. I refused to take two takes on this. And I was like, yeah, that hurts. And he was like, cool. Stuck a pair of pliers in there and ripped it out. Okay, without my consent. I wasn't a lot of pain, so I might've said, you just pull it. So that could've happened, uh -huh. could go both ways. I think if it goes to court, my word will win. And then that night I was like, oh, thank God. The pain is gone. Oh wait, no. What fell in my kitchen? I'll give you two guesses. I would like to also know what it was. Were you just in the kitchen? It wasn't ghosts, so we're good. Then, that night, I couldn't sleep. Pain came back. We're super bad, owie pain. Wow, this hurts much worse than I thought it would. Teeth pain. Not only because I, he, like, screwdriver to, well, don't, yeah, that, he okay. took a tooth out, oh, but okay. also he didn't get the thing that was hurting in the first uh -huh. place. <laughs> this stuff was hurting, and I didn't know why. So I waited two days in pain and agony, and eventually went to a different dentist. Smart, I know. So I go to another dentist and he takes x-rays up here, okay, or y-rays. I don't want to assume the gender of the rays. And he's like, oh, the person who did your filling on this back tooth just so happened to plop the filling right on a nerve. And I was like, that's what that feels like, yes. And so he was like, do you want me to root canal that baby out? And I was like, do it. So before I know it, he has a screwdriver in my mouth doing that thing. I've had so many tools in my mouth over the past week that I could open my own Lowe's and I plan on it. Everything's gonna be a little wet. It's a whole bag of sodas. Yum. Y'all are the reason I had to go to the dentist in the first place. Thank you, there's literally every flavor. This is from Ashley, Joe, Katie, and Michaela from Michigan. P.S. Happy whatever holiday it is around what time you open this. My birthday, almost. Next two weeks from now. <laughs> June 5th, whenever that is in relation to this video for you watching. Whoa. Thank y'all so much, you little Michigan pigs. I love soda, and I love going to the dentist. Thank you for the box of pop. <laughs> that sounds weird. It's Coke. Everything is a Coke. That's a big shoebox. Oh, it sounds dusty. Okay, it, whatever it is, it's everywhere, and I can't wait. What? Spirits Creations. Brittany Lamy? You are not. This is a first act purple guitar pick. This was my first guitar pick I ever had when I started playing guitar. How a goat saved me from suicide. Never underestimate a goat. I actually had a goat um, almost take me the other way. <laughs> I've told the story before, you already know it. Ooh, Tim Horton's chamomile, chamomile. So good you have to say it twice. Adam, Brittany, Sarah, and Desmond. LeMay. Oh, it's pronounced LeMay. You knew I would say it wrong. <sighs> And you're so right. What are you? Are you what's leaking? Moroccan mint. That is the biggest package for tea ever, and it's open. Uh, excuse me, did you pilfer through my tea leaves? Which I'm okay with, you bought it, thank you. Oh, no, I see what it is now. Oh, this is for like, uh, has the little, it's, you know, inside this box is an assortment of handcrafted items, beads, handmade dragon egg candles, bath bomb salts, surprises for you all, and the tea bag. Then what's all the dust? Ooh, green tea, the vert. So good, you have two different names for it. Are these like swatches for my wall? Army green. Hakuna Matata, it means no worries. There is a bunch of dragon eggs in here. I'm surprised they didn't hatch. Oh, another one. What movie is this from? Ravenclaw, sweet plaques of wood. Oh, there's more to it. I thought you just took the creative choice to leave the R out. Here's another one. Huh. Is this confetti? Oh, <laughs> what's this? Oh, that's the powder. These are really cool. Oh, Pokemon. <gasps> uh, excuse me. Oh, these are neat. Is that a melancholy sea turtle in a bottle cap? Protecting its eggs? That's what I got out of it. If you get anything else, you let me know. Here's the beads, a white powder. Thank you, I love it. Another confetti, ah. <laughs> Everything in open. Dragon egg candle, that's cool. Ooh, cranberry sugar scrub. 
Aww. What a neat box of goodies. Another white powder bag that is open. No idea. Could not tell you by the smell. How do I put these wood planks up? I'll find a way. Aha! Adam, Brittany, Sarah, Desmond, LeMay. Thank you for the box of open goodies. I loved it. And I'm gonna figure out what that goat did. This is from Heather Pratt. Shout out to your son, Connor Rose. Hi, Connor. What? I really hope this isn't the case and I'm just ripping it apart. Heather and Connor, Michael Jordan playing cards. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. I sold all my Michael Jordan cards, you already know. I've been watching the Michael Jordan documentary. It's a good one. Oh, I love this. Heather Pratt, you, yeah. okay, so cool. Thank you so much. This is fro broken. Violetta Ruman. Violetta, feel me, I have been. Oh, is it a Harry Potter blanket? What? Is that right? No, how about that? I don't know. Capital H's can go either way. I love it. Feels like a goat fur, I mean a sheep. It doesn't feel like a goat. I don't know what goat fur feels like. Do goats have fur? It's been a while since I've had an encounter with a goat. Violetta, thank you so much for the amazing blanket. I love it. Kelly, feel this. Not a Harry Potter fan? The box also came with Bob Ross cereal and the Bob Ross marshmallow painting. I'm gonna melt this down and make Rice Krispies. Can I do that, Bob? Gigantic candy corn bath bombs. Just so many, all of them, this much. Of like wax melts, butterfly soap. I use these. I'm using a coffee scrub soap that someone sent me a while back. How do I go about this one? Popsicle soap. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> I have a little wax melter up here that's on a timer, so it, every morning when I come in, it already started. So I use these quite a bit. Ooh, coffee bar soap. I, I like this. Oh, I love this whole box. Twilight transitions. Pen kind of smudged a bit. Mango sorbet. Don't work out so hard. So cool. Love all of these. I guess I could read who it's from. From Courtney Beringer and Patty Gano. Gano? I Gano. Here's a business card. Hopefully you guys can also get the chocolate soap. Courtney, Patty, thank y'all so much. I will use all of it. What is this? Is this a donut? Fruit Loop. I like that. Enjoy making pancake art. Catherine Stewart. Another note. I have the box fill on my toes. There's more things in it. Pancake art. Pancart. Pan go. <laughs> That's way funnier than what I said. Pancake art challenge. Oh uh, yeah. I think I will. I'll probably try to do this. I tried once. Didn't work. Bunch of pancake mix. Whole box of food coloring. And then tiny little bottle. Catherine Stewart. I love the idea. I'll try it again. I tried once. It didn't really work. Thank you for the video idea. Haha. <laughs> and breakfast. Happy belated birthday. No, you're early. This box looks like it has been traveling for a year. Goldfish. Andy's mints and some the ball with animals in it. These are from Morgan, Nate, and Camille Louderback. Shut up. Oh, y'all got me a whole bunch of tiny toys? It's like you know me. <laughs> Mini Rubik's Cube. Do these even work? Well, I bet they do. World's smallest yo-yo. Use my tiny hands. You bought so many things. Tiny Etch-a-Sketch. That one's gonna be fun. The little, uh, with, mm-hmm. These don't have names, they just have sound effects. These are the little, what pop pop Guys, world's smallest card game. Who oh, no. Morgan, Nate, Camille, thank you for the endless amounts of fun and frustration, I'm assuming. I love it. Wish I had these before I took my two week break. Thank y'all so much, I love the games. These are from Kathy Satterwhite. Ooh, two times spicy hot ramen. I choose. If I drink enough of that tea, I might. Why do you have glitter all over you, sir? Unicorn slimy gloop, slimy gloop. Where is the glitter coming from? Bob Ross t-shirt with glitter on it. I'm not gonna take it out because there's glitter on it. He's basically just saying how he doesn't make any mistakes. Just happy little accident. Oh, oh, hey, don't pop at me like that. A poopy mug with hands and feet. A full body of poo right there. And then a unicorn. Are you producing the glitter? Yes, I knew it. A unicorn that produces glitter. Well, they all do, but now I have one. I guess we're always gonna have to be picking up after you, huh? Kathy, thank you so much for 
everything. That's the most clever way to glitter bomb someone. Give them a unicorn that sheds. Thank you for all the gifts. Whoa. It's an electrical fireplace heater. Hi, Brandon, enjoy your gifts. I am. Who sent it? I have no idea who sent this, but I love it. Can I put this on my balcony? Whoever sent me the heater fireplace heater made of electric, I love it, thank you. These are from Amy P. Amy, unicorn handwriting practice letter tracing workbook. No kid's gonna be able to read that. Big old title book, workbook. <gasps> what is this? <sighs> Lint brush. Oh, I did not think, what, what can you do with glitter? Energy drinks, one was already out, so the box was getting thirsty. Share as appropriate, no, no, no. I opened them. They're mine! <laughs> so many different flavors of goldfish. Yum. Solar shield sunshades. You don't even see me, do you? Is this the case? Oh, it's another pair of sunglasses. <laughs> what a pleasant surprise. Do I look like I own a motorcycle? Mm, you're not one of the shedding ones, good. A little unicorn, which I've named. Thank God you don't shed glitter like the other one. Oh, oh. <laughs> you. <laughs> mm, not a scary thing, kind of. It's broken. It's a Yankee Candle. Vanilla cupcake, are you kidding me? Ugh. Smell it anyway. Love the card, by the way, cat treadmills. Thank you, Amy P. I loved everything. Tiny little ornament. Should have kept the tree up. Kelly, I'm gonna have to hang this ornament on you. You live here now. You live with Kelly. This is from Denise. Denise, this is diamond painting, right? Super good. And she sent me my very own diamond paintings. Oh, this one's for Autumn. You want Autumn to do it, or you want me to do it? Give it to Autumn. Thank you, Denise. I love it. I'll hang it up this way, because this is how it's supposed to go. It's a cat scratching post. This isn't it. It's just a piece of cardboard. I have to build it. But if you build it, this is from Beth Zahir. Beth, thank you so much. I will definitely put this together for the cat. Keith! And the dog. I'll probably swat at it a couple times, I don't know. And now we're gonna do the box of the week. The box of the week is where I pick a box every single week and you try to guess what's in it. And then if you do, you win a hundred bucks from me. I'll just PayPal it to you or whatever. Oh, it's like a little scroll. Samantha Chestnut, super good scroll drawing. Love that. Oh, I thought it was toast. It's a coffee cup, a little plushy. Oh, you hatched in the box. Oh, <laughs> get back in there. <laughs> That's funny, I like that. You're quirky, you can stay. Pikachu, the dog will eat this. Just use Thunderbolt. A little keychain attached to a bigger keychain. <gasps> a sploosh ball, I forget what they're called. Catch. Mini highlighters, oh my world. I love mini highlighters, never had one before, but I already know I like them. Mini pens, oh, you just pick them a language. And then a sweet leather bound notebook. It's got a big old B in there too. It's a little off center, but so am I. That's the card for the, the hatched, um, the, um, thing? You not a thing, unicorn cat. It's a dog rabbit, right? Thank you, Samantha Chestnut, for the amazing box. Thank you for being the box of the week. I love it, I love that thing. Samantha asked if we could donate to the Wounded Warrior Project, which I've had a lot of people ask me to do that, so yeah, 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 we'll do that. Every single week we donate ad revenue from YouTube and Facebook, and we donate it to a charity of y'all's choice. This week, we're donating to the Wounded Warriors Project because Samantha asked us to, politely. If there's a charity you want me to see or a charity you want us to donate to, just put it in the comments section below, or write it in a letter. I read them both. Now I'm gonna go to YouTube and Facebook, look at all the comments, see who was even close, and then give them money. And the winner goes to, that's not right, Canadian underscore Whovian. Congrats, you won a box of the week, a super weird book, and art supplies. The book will be weird, I'll write weird things. Thank you, Canadian Whovian. Thank you to everybody who guessed, everybody who sent me something a year ago, thank you. I hope y'all have the best day ever. I'm super glad to be back. Can't wait to read the comments. Be nice, I'm fragile. <laughs> Hope you have the best day ever. Mainly because I said so, mostly because you want to. Also, no, I didn't forget. You forgot. This is the box of the week for next week. I think it's Air Biscuits.